Hallo, mijn naam is Reesje. Vandaag ben ik weer terug bij Theo, omdat ik graag maar door een stukje licht wil. Ja, een stukje licht. Een stukje licht, ja. <laughs> Reesje wants to be blood. Light blood. Reesje, wil je een rondje draaien? And we did it in steps, so not in one step, because otherwise her hair would be damaged too much. And it started with a bleach wash. Hello friends on YouTube. Go to reach him hair again. And now she wants to get to the light blonde colors. So I know there's a lot of red in her hair. And because I uh, and tried something new, I started with a bleach wash and then start with bleaching. And then I'll show you everything I do. The first step, bleach wash, I don't show you because it can do that in the sink and my uh, uh, possibilities to make the video there is uh, at this time not possible. So first I start with that. Okay, back from bleach wash, did only 10 minutes, rinse it out. But there is, of course, something that I do this. I want to have the best result on the hair. So I have to have it wet and I have to get into the hair. And mostly the peroxide into the bleach, because that's a powder product, uh, damps and goes in, into the hairs and the bleach stays on top. So when the hair is wet, it's much easier to uh, color the hairs. Take the hairs up, thin it away, lay my plastic foil on the hard cape. You have a clean base to work on. Now I'm going to part the hairs. Start in the neckline, building up because I can work very fast, so that's the way why I start this way. So my first line is mo the most difficult because it's near to the hard cape, the others will follow. And because there's uh, just an outgrow, I don't think it, it takes a lot of time, I start in the underlines and apply it on her total hair, also the outgrow. I made this bleach with 6%, that's 20 volume, so it's not much. And I put in the deep conditioner. Take every time two parts and then lay a plastic foil between it. Hard cape I made myself because I think it's the most wonderful way to work on long hair. Comb the bleach gently through the hairs. Make sure you have a smooth comb that don't pull the hairs. And now comes my first plastic foil. Lay it on the hair. Stay away a centimeter from the outgrow, so there is not as heat as in the rest. And so I do all the hair. All the bleach is on her hair. This took about 15 minutes to set it on her hair, to apply it. So now, take off my gloves, works a little bit easier. Get myself a little carton wick, set it on the contour line. Go stand beside her, lift up my plastic foil. And don't take it too near to the skin, so softly close it. Close the plastic foils. Lay them on top. And then I'm going to wait for 50 minutes to start with. Control it every time. Be back when the hair is light enough. 
and then we go in for the toner. Take hard clip out and she's free to go. Okay, we waited for a half hour and I think uh, her color will be almost ready. The nice thing is that uh, the bleach stayed ultra cool and that I like because when it's heating up you always get uh, different colors at the skin part. So now I open my plastic foil if it's possible because there's hanging a lot of hair on it. Lay the foil open and let the violets do the work. So now I leave this for five minutes, then the violet colors can get in. Then I rinse it out and then I show you that I put the toner on. But in the meantime, just five minutes, so stay close. Okay, gonna need the toner because I want to have a stable color on the hair. The golden shades you can still see are of leftovers of colors in the past that I don't want. So that's where I put the toner on. I make a recipe of the toner into the video so you can see it and you see the product of it. I choose for a silver toner in combination with a lavender. This to give it a trendy highlighting effect. Put in very much of conditioner because I love to work with conditioners and I used only 3% that's 10 volume. always work with a lot of conditions into it because I like to have the best result for the customer or the models. Bring this on her hair, then we're going to wait for 20 minutes, rinse it out, going to dry her hair. I don't need to cut it because I cut it the last time with a hot razor I think. Um, not sure of that, but certainly with a hot tool. So the hair will stay closed for more than a half year. And she's growing the hair, so that's why. And the wonderful thing about the way I bleached her hair was that there was no irritation at all on the skin or no spots that are red or light. And the bleach stayed very cool, so that's also a very good sign. The cooler the bleach stays, the less damage your hair is. Okay, after 20 minutes we rinsed it out. Now I'm going to blow dry your hair. I start in the underlines, working my way up. So far blow dry. Now to nurse the hairs, take a little bit of polish. She will certainly be back modeling for me. I thank you for watching and thank you for being my model and she shows now, I'm going to clip you up. 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 That's good. Really nice. Yeah, you can put your hand on it.
Dank je wel. Hallo, mijn naam is Reesje. Vandaag ben ik weer terug bij Theo, omdat ik graag maar toch een stukje lichter wil. Ja, yeah, een stukje lichter. Een stukje lichter, ja. Reesje was to be blond. Light blond. Reesje, wil je een rondje draaien? And we did it in steps, so not in one step, because otherwise her hair would be damaged too much. And started with the bleach. 